You think about exercise, fitness and health, and you want to be pretty much like them. Shiny skin, lean, a little bit muscly, not too much, and then we take away the fake smiles and the Photoshop corrections, and everybody will be happy, right? <laughs> Good. But if you ask experts how to achieve this, they're going to tell you, you need to exercise. Flexibility, mobility, coordination, strength, endurance, and more. And nobody has time for that. Even if we just do strength and endurance, which are the core factors, I don't know many people who are able to do this every week. So how do we fix this? I am convinced that we are about to prove that there is a solution. Eccentric exercise. Remind yourself, how does it feel when you walk upstairs? Heavy breathing, heart is racing, your legs are becoming hot, quite heavy. Why didn't you take the elevator? Yeah, think about that. So you walk downstairs and you pretty much forget about it. None of this happens. It's easy to do. And that is exactly what eccentric exercise is. It's easy. When you're walking downstairs, your muscles are slowing you down. They're getting stretched, but also activated at the same time. In this mode, our muscles are up to 30% stronger and up to 50% more efficient. So we can do more for less. In our lab, we do eccentric cycling. On a normal stationary bike, you sit on there, you have to pedal really, really hard. It's really annoying. On our bike, the machine moves the pedals for you. You still have to do a little bit to slow it down all the time. But studies on both eccentric cycling and downstairs walking has, have actually shown that it improves strength, power, coordination, balance, but also more metabolic parameters that are related to endurance, insulin sensitivity, arterial stiffness, all these kind of things. But this is still a 20 to 30 minute session. In my research, I was able actually to prove if we do the same work in intervals, one minute work, one minute rest, one minute work, one minute rest, keep going. You breathe up to 24% more oxygen. And if you are really, really fit or just decently healthy, you can actually do up to 54% more work than doing the normal cycling. This means in total, we get a much better stimulus for strength and endurance. In my current study, actually, I'm trying to prove that this type of training is better at improving strength and endurance than normal cycling in intervals. So, hey, with this type of pre prescription for everybody, even so far proven for all types of clinical populations like cancer, MS, Parkinson's, heart stroke patients, but also for every normal population that doesn't have enough time, why do you worry? Why do you envy that so much and get influenced by that advertisement? Don't worry, do one thing only. I'm telling you right now, eccentric is the future of exercise. Thank <laughs> you.